Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor Hui, uh, Dean of Engineering Professor C.P. Wong, uh, Mr. Shuka Li, Dr. Duncan Wong, uh, guests, uh, colleagues, students, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Uh, I am Professor and Chairman of the Department of Systems Engineering and Engineering Management, and um, it's my great pleasure to be able to present a brief introduction about uh, our faculty and my department tonight uh, for all of you. So our department was established in August of 1991. It was the first of its kind in Hong Kong. And it's actually one of the five departments in Chinese University's Faculty of Engineering. The other departments include computer science, electronic engineering, information engineering, and mechanical and automation engineering. Now, systems engineering and engineering management is actually a vision of Professor Charles Tao, who was then Vice Chancellor of COHK. So his vision was that we need to train a new generation of talents with both technological and managerial skills for Hong Kong. So the mission of SEVM department is to create and disseminate knowledge and technologies of systems engineering and engineering management for the ever-changing society by extracting intelligence from massive data and modeling human behavior to derive managerial insights and make optimal decisions in complex environments. So at this point, maybe you are beginning to see, see connection with this today's very exciting launch of our Bachelor of Engineering program in financial technology, because it is where technology and finance come together, and it's going to bring a whole new world uh, to finance in Hong Kong. Now, what is systems engineering and engineering management? It is a modern discipline that takes a systematic approach in designing and engineering systems to analyze massive amounts of data, derive intelligence from information, and make evidence-based, optimized, and insightful decisions. This discipline maximizes the efficiency of human operations, minimizes wastage of resources, and enables us to respond rapidly and effectively to changes and challenges. So there are many possible applications, ranging from business, education, energy usage, environmental preservation, finance, healthcare, logistics, etc. In fact, it has been the scope of the work of our department in covering financial engineering, information systems, which has data intensive computing for information exchange, and intelligence extraction for better decision making, logistics and supply chain management, operations research, and service engineering and management. So you can see that the scope of our work actually covers all the pillar industries in Hong Kong. So this is very vital as we nurture the next generation of talents for Hong Kong. Our education objectives include training graduates who have the knowledge grounded in mathematics and computing to provide a solid engineering and technology background. Our graduates need to have the ability to apply a systems approach or systematized approach to solving complex problems. They must have the ability to think with depth, so that implies analytical thinking in specialized areas, such as financial technology, and breadth, lateral thinking across areas, so in this case, we will touch upon law, business, etc. Now, our graduates also need to have the ability to work effectively in teams as a leader or a member, and the ability to learn independently to stay abreast of new developments, and the realization of the significance in upholding professional ethics at the highest standards. So our department has a team of very strong professors who are um, themselves graduates of top <coughs> institutions around the world. So our education programs are very well supported by our faculty. Now you might have already seen uh, the press release from January 9th um, about the launch 
uh, of this uh, Bachelor of Engineering program in financial technologies. So as our Pro Vice Chancellor mentioned, this is the vision of our current president, Professor George Sun Song. We all pushed extremely hard to get this program in place. And Chinese University is in a unique position because not only do we have a very uh, strong engineering faculty, we also join forces with the faculty of business and, and the faculty of law. And you can see in this press release, we have some of the best minds uh, in this area, together with our two invited speakers today. So you will see that because Hong Kong is an international financial center, we have been in a leading position as a financial center in the world. Uh, but to keep this leadership, we must be able to train the next generation of financial technologists, because technology is changing the world, including the financial world. So we must nurture the next generation of financial technologists who are not only well versed with finance but also in technology. So today is a very exciting beginning and our invited speakers and our program director, Professor Chen Nan, in a moment will tell you much more about the details of financial technology and what our program offers. So thank you very much.